welcome back to our channel Smart Tech Tips. My name is Kay and in today's episode of the Basic Tech Tips, I'm going to be showing you how you can be setting up your iPhone for the very first time. So this here right I've got with me is a iPhone 14 Pro Max. It's in the beautiful deep purple color. It's absolutely stunning. And I just wanted to run through with you all by step how you can set up your iPhone for the very first time. So let's get into it then. So first and foremost, you just need to hold the side button over here. So this is the power button, so just hold on to it like that and it'll power up your phone. So all you need to do is once you click on the power button, it will power up just like this. So this is the screen that should pop up um, to let you know that it's just starting up. So we'll just give it a few minutes. So once it's all there, what will happen is that you'll come up with the main screen just over here. Now all you need to do is you just need to swipe up from the bottom and you need to start off with now selecting your language. So obviously I'm from the UK, so I'm going to go for English just over there. Um, and then it's going to ask you to select your country. So obviously I am from the UK. I'm just like the UK. So once it's done that, now it gives you the option of either setting up your phone manually. Uh, if you've got another phone iPhone near you, if you bring it close by, what it'll do is get a notification saying, do you want to just set up your new iPhone? So that is one way to set up your phone quickly. But you do need to know that um, if it doesn't show any of the options, make sure that all your iPhones should be running on the latest iOS. But obviously you can set up your iPhone manually if you prefer to do so. So once you've done that, now set up your Wi-Fi. Just, uh, I'm gonna do this off camera and I'll be back with you in a second. So once you've done that, um, it will obviously come up with this little screen just saying it's gonna take a few minutes for it to activate your iPhone. So we're just gonna give it a few minutes to do its thing. So the next step is data and privacy. So this is where you'll get the option of being asked, um, you know, this icon only appears when an Apple feature asks to use your personal information. So you can choose whether to share your data with Apple or not. So it's really your own personal choice here. You're more than welcome to read a bit more just down here, click on learn more, and it gives you all the details of how they use your data in terms of how your privacy is protected with Apple. So for the purposes of this video, I'm going to just say continue. And now this is the fun part to where you can set up your face ID or any other passcode of your choice. So if you click continue, it's gonna let you set up your face, um, your face ID. I'm gonna click on set up later and it gives you the option of creating a passcode. If you don't wanna do that, there are also other passcode options you can do. You can do a custom alphanumerical code. You can also do a custom numeric code or a four digit numeric code. It's really up to you. You don't also have to set up a passcode. If you don't want to just click on don't use passcode and then you can continue. Um, it's gonna just give you a little warning saying, you know, the password secures your iPhone, blah, blah, blah. It's really up to you. I'm gonna just say click, don't continue. And now at this stage of the setup, it's gonna ask you if you wanna transfer your apps and data from another iPhone or iCloud backup. You can also restore it from a Mac or PC or even move data from Android. So I will be doing another video where I'll show you how you can transfer data from an Android to an Apple. So do stay tuned to our channel to watch that one. But I'm gonna just click on don't transfer any apps and data. And now you can set up your Apple ID if you don't have one already. If you do, feel free to just type it over here. It's going to then uh, set up all your information and restore all your data that you had. Um, at the same time, you can also, um, like I said, create one if you don't have it. So here you can create your free Apple ID. What an Apple ID does is the account that you can then use to access everything Apple related, whether that's your, um, you know, your iTunes store, your iCloud photos, even your iPad and Mac users can use it. And you can kind of like have all your data stored across the board of your Apple devices. So for, I'm going to just click on set up later. And then here is your terms and conditions. So feel free to read all of this. You can click on the, uh, on the little link over here and read through the entire terms and conditions. Um, I would recommend always doing so. And if not, you can also get it sent to you by email and agree. And once you've done that, now you can set up to update your iPhone automatically, or you can obviously download it automatically when it's available. And then you can go back into your settings to actually get it uh, set up. So I'm gonna just click only download automatically. And now here's your iMessage and FaceTime settings. So obviously people can contact you and then on all your devices using your iMessage and FaceTime and they can be through your phone number or your email addresses. So Apple members of this iPhone will be able to send, send you know, what you can do is you can send Apple your details and it will set up for you. So you, if you click continue, it will then register your phone number or Apple ID to allow you to receive iMessage and FaceTime calls. Um, you can obviously just click not now and set up later in your settings. Now, again, I'm sure you all know what location services are, but location services are those that allow you to kind of, you know, access your maps and it shows you where you're at the moment. It also lets you find your iPhone and it's very useful in a lot of apps. So if you want to enable them, just click on enable over there. And if you want to disable it, you just click on that. 
um, you can set up your mobile service. So either you can transfer your phone number from a nearby iPhone or scan a QR code from your network provider. So you've got both those options of doing so. And click on, you know, transfer from a nearby iPhone. It will just like transfer your phone number. Or you can click on using the QR code, then scan the QR code and it should do the job. Now, you can also set up Siri at this stage of setting up your iPhone. So Siri is sort of like your virtual assistant, you know, it can help you get things done really quickly. It can also give you suggestions before you even ask it to do anything. So um, to use Siri, to suggest, press and hold the side button or say, hey Siri, anytime, and it will pop up. So um, I'm going to just click continue and you can, uh, oh, you can, if you continue, it's going to ask you to set up a voice and you pick one or two. Um, now, this is your screen time. So screen time is sort of like where you get analytics of how long we've been sending on your phone and also on each of the apps. I think it's really useful. It's really quick to set up. It will do so and it will help you kind of share your details with um, Apple if you want to. You don't have to. This is the fun bit. I think this is where you can set up your appearance. So you can either go for a dark mode or you can go for a light mode. So look for this and uh, light mode. I'm going to continue with this. So now again, you've got, so now again, you've got the standard zoom options or you've got the zoomed in options. It's really personal preference things. You know, do you like your um, apps to look bigger, your screen text to look bigger. It's really how you want it. Again, you can change these at any time in your settings. So I'm, and then you can now set up your emergency SOS. So this is where like, iPhone's ready to help you in an emergency. iPhone can detect if you've been in a serious car accident. And then you can also maybe contact the emergency services. This is something new that iPhone's been doing for a while now, but I think a really useful thing to have. So you can totally set it up if you can continue. And that is all, this is it. Now your iPhone is all set up. And then all you need to now do is swipe up. There is your iPhone already. So as you can see, your apps are there now. Some of them will still be downloading, um, but your phone is pretty much all set up. You can go into your settings over here and continue adding or changing. There's plenty to do. You know, you can click on your face ID, like I said, if you haven't set up already and you can do that. But that is all for this video. I hope you found that all very useful. If you did, do let me know um, in the comments down below. Let me know if there's something new you learned or if there's any other tips that you have for any other new users to Apple. Or did, do let me know um, in the comments down below. If you haven't already, please make sure to subscribe to our channel and do like and share this video with your friends and family. And at the same time, stay tuned to the next one. Um, we do share weekly videos. So if you're into that kind of stuff, make sure you stick around and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you all so much. See you later. Bye bye.